Last time on Persona 3 Reload. Fun fact, in Female MC Route, Junpei mentioned that this would be an even more of a bad idea by bringing two girls there. Funny story. One of our, um... Well, she's not one of my senpais, she's technically like from another state. She's in Adelaide. But she is this petite looking woman. Petite looking. She is a little taller than Hachun, around 60 kilograms, and she's a 4th degree black belt who has done a 50 man kumite which is fighting 50 black belts or above consecutively so she's a tough cookie she's also a nurse a lot of times, especially on weekends they get drunk people you know, they're like drunk and all that sort of crap but they get injured or something and the ambulance drops them off but because they're drunk and fooling a, full of adrenaline and stuff, that sometimes cause problems in the hospital. There's very little security because, you know, you can only have so much budget and stuff, right? But when some of these drunk people, you know, try to attack the nurse staff, this little petite 60 kilogram woman will literally choke them out. She'll get them in a chokehold, like fully grown men, and choke them out. She like jumps on their back, like legs around them, choking them out. <laughs> Fucking chokes them out. She's not tall enough to grab them around the neck standing up. She like jumps on them, like legit, bam, choke out, like holy shit. You know, and, and, and she's a nurse. Like you would never see it coming. She doesn't even look like her, you know, she's like, Small, feminine, like you, you wouldn't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, two girls, Junpei. Mate, <laughs> I've met some girls out there that will kick your ass. They kick my ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm at school. Stop. We're supposed to gather in front of the faculty office during lunch. What's this about? Oh, dude, you serious? We're supposed to ask about Fuka Yamagishi, remember? But asking Mr. Ekoda for an explanation sounds like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame, especially compared to when we went to that spot behind the station at night. Oh, Kirijo Senpai. Why are you here? Oh, just interrogating a student. Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way. Fuka... Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Yes, it is. Now bring me my car battery. Ryama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. This isn't America. You don't have any right to remain silent. Now bring me my gerbil. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. You know what? Effort. Give me a rat and a steel bucket and a lighter. Fuka, she. She always looks so. Frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. You were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? And let me guess, she was stuck there overnight. That's messed up. That's not funny. Dot, dot, dot. That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so she went back to the school by herself. 
You locked a girl in school for like more than 30 minutes or an hour. You literally just locked her there. That's not cool. But she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Puka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. Well, we're about to find out what happens to someone that stays inside Tartarus beyond midnight, aren't we? But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda. All this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. And she's actually missing. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. And he didn't report it to the police. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. That's actually the opposite. There's a missing student that's been missing now for God knows how long. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. Right, except the person that's missing, potentially hurt or injured, and could be dying. Yes, you're thinking of everyone, except the person that's actually in danger. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. Get the testicle electrodes. It's... It was in her best interest. How? I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. Her parents agreed not to report to the police that she was missing? What kind of effing parents are these? Get me my wood chipper. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. Despi- No, I-, I... I didn't mean, uh, I, I was just... Uh... That's enough. You can go now, we'll handle the rest. W wait but... Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. <sighs> About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Besides the fact that they were horrible human beings? Anything at all? <sighs> A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai! Could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Well, it sounds like they're targeting assholes. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. We're not adopting her! If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. Oh, she's bait! And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. Luka. <laughs> what do you want from me? What did I do? I didn't say anything. Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. What, are we doing it without anesthesia? Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes! Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, 
I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Yes! Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? Mm-hmm. That's right. But that was ten days ago! And she's probably dehydrated, possibly dead. No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Maybe she pulled a bear grills. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? Either it just pauses or it goes into an alternate dimension. It doesn't exist. That's a good point. Wait, 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 wait. If that's the fact, you could basically time hop. You could go into Tartarus or whatever it called it. And just stay there. And your lifespan will only consume one hour every 24 hours. So if you spend a whole year in there, you could, without leaving, you could time hop 24 years in the future. Spend two years in there, 48 years. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a bunch of cash and buy index funds. Then we're gonna spend a whole year in Tartarus. And then just make trades. And then go back in Tartarus. And then like 60, 70 years will pass and we'll be rich. Isn't it a bit similar to spending time in space? Don't remember about this fact that much. It's not about space, but rather how quickly you're accelerating. The faster you're moving, the less that time relatively passes. Tartarus is the hyperbolic time chamber of Persona. And we are going to abuse that with time in the market using ETFs. Sorry, yeah, ETFs. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. Oh yeah, we're going to abuse the shit out of index funds. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us. How could she last 10 days worth in there? Man, you haven't seen my childhood. That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. Stay at the school. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. I'm okay with that. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her. Okay, Akihiko. Who couldn't you save? Why are you so hell-bent on protecting people? Who was it? Mummy? Daddy? Was it a sibling? A little brother? A little sister, perhaps? I'd never forgive myself. What you're trying to say is you can't forgive yourself. What happened? Who was it? If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. I sent some trauma. Senpai? Oh yeah, I sense trauma. All right. Let me guess, you weren't strong enough to help them. So now you're obsessed with becoming stronger. We know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> In that case, I've got just the thing. Snacks? You do? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a 
big deal, right? Just leave him a video message. There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. Uh, Kira joke, you could just climb over the fence. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? Unexplosive? <laughs> I love the way you think, but no. All right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. Also, Kirijo, if we're getting An technical... Explosive? If we're getting technical... Thermite is better than an explosive. Explosives might not actually break through the lock, whereas thermite will break through fucking anything. Pro tip. Uh, no. Uh, Let me guess, lock pick. All I did was unlock a door. <laughs> Got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kirijo was actually gonna plant some C4. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. We oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? They're trying to be cool. Ne razumem zašto to uopšte rade, ali u redu. Can we turn on the lights? No, that will give our way that will give away our position to the outside. Four. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. Why don't you just get a bump key? It's cheaper than having to have separate keys for different locks. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? Was that Serbian? Was interested in learning it a while ago, mainly because of your content, but not many decent resources in Australia. It was, but I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. The amount of times that you will use Serbian outside of Serbia is very limited. Fine by me. So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? She's probably not talking about what I'm thinking of. I suppose you'll need to be executed. Nani? Hey, come on! Obviously, I was joking. You would execute someone for cheating on an exam? All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Jesus! Yori, you're coming with us. <laughs> Alright, let's get this over with. Wait, so I'm with Yukari by ourselves? I should head to the faculty office. Oh, fun. I live near Serbia and I don't even know if I should ever visit it. Hey, Serbia is the nightclub of Europe. You can have a fun time. I was just basically saying I don't know why they're speaking in another language. Oh. Alright, 
let's wrap it up there. It's 10 o'clock. We're technically eight minutes over and we started early so I wouldn't run overtime so Hachan can film her audio book. She's stressed as all hell, but she's got to record that thing. This will help with hating Ekoda even more. In the female MC route, the Hermit Arcana was this girl in either the library slash nurses committee. And she got accused of telling this reporter that she and other girls in the school did adult stuff. Ekoda, instead of trying to understand the situation, made the situation out to be even worse and place even more blame on Sayori for literally no reason. Wow. It would be pretty bad if a high school girl from your school did adult stuff. Like, it would be pretty bad. But, here's a question. Why on earth would a girl do stuff like that for money? What's the situation? Is it problems at home? Is she, you know what I mean? Like, if it was a girl that's like, I don't give a fuck, I don't want to get a part-time job, I'm gonna just suck some dick on camera. I'd be like, look, you really need to reconsider your life. Versus, oh... My parents are sick and I need the money. And it's like, oh, I feel really bad. You know what I mean? She wasn't doing adult stuff. She just allowed her photo being taken. What kind of photo? You know what I mean? Like, you know? Anyway, we'll continue tomorrow morning. Uh, that was good. We got a level 10 and we got a level 8. And we, we actually got a bunch of stuff. We actually got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we got a level 10. A level 7. A level 8. And even a level 4. Like, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Alright, we'll go there. We'll go there. We'll go there. This is good stuff. We'll continue tomorrow and I'll finally get some combat. Tomorrow sounds like it's going to be a Tartarus stream. Alright guys, I'll see you all then. Thanks for the fun. Till then, did you come out? Bye! Alright, ladies and gents. Let us kick it off. Let us kick it off. Let us kick it off. It feels like a Tartarus session today. So, uh... Let's see how it go. It's a rescue mission to rescue someone that was locked in the school gym during the dark hour, which is going to answer the question. What actually happens if you are at the school when the dark hour opens up? Seems that you can use it as a hyperbolic time chamber to fly through time, being only active for one hour every 24 hours. But here's the thing. I don't know if we're going to age during that one hour. So, uh, would be interesting. Would be incredibly interesting. Especially if someone's been chilling in there for like, I don't know, years, decades, centuries. You just casually see Moses in there. That'd be weird. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I mean, like, why not, right? You just see some Japanese person stuck in there for like 200 years. Maybe this school's built like an, on, on top of an old castle or something. It's actually funny. There's a lot of places in Japan... You will actually see a plaque. You'll be walking and you'll see a plaque. And it's like, this belonged to so and so, and it was like the residence of so and so, where it was like a little watchtower, like a little fort or something. And it's like, oh, this used to be something. Now it's like an apartment block. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It used to be all these things. Alright, let's do this. Being in Tartarus in the dark hour in general also drains your stamina and makes you tired more quickly. Well,. I guess that's why we hibernate. Alright, just the two of us. Head to rescue Fuka. Get the key in the faculty office. Okay? Do I be stealthy? Go to the bathroom. It's the men's restroom. Should I go in? Yes. Seriously? Wait, at a time like this? Just try to be quick, will you? Men's gotta use the bathroom. Alright, man's used the bathroom. Let's go to the roof real quickly. Hold on, that's the wrong way. Let's go downstairs. Ah, oh, alright. Do you hear something? No. What? There's someone else here? It sounds like heels or like business shoes. We gotta hide. This is the girl in bright pink. Level. It was just a security guard. Wait, we have security guards? Let's hurry. You're freaking out. Think it's a ghost? Uh, of course I don't. We already know it's not a ghost. How do we know that? 
besides, I'm not that afraid of... Hmm? <laughs> you didn't set it to vibrate only in the middle of a stealth mission? Amateur. <laughs> okay, I just thought of the flip, right? Something's vibrating. I'm like, oh, clever. You set it to vibrate during a stealth mission. And she's like, stealth mission? Oh God! M my phone. Yes, phone. Nah, that's what's vibrating. Why now? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Spam at like eleven thirty. Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. I get that. You get scared so easily. That was so cute. Uh, what? That's not funny, you know. I know, I shouldn't joke about that. Alright, so we got guards. Yay. And. 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 Remember that combo we had about the dark hour? And how, what if everyone's actually just really, really high? And that, instead of beating the crap out of shadows, they're actually beating the crap out of homeless people? Well, what happened if they got really, really high? And they think they're in Tartarus, but they're actually in their school. And they think they're beating up, you know, the floor guardian, but it's actually the security guard. And this poor guy, like... Once a month, these kids get really high, break into their school, start running around like crazy maniacs, going up the stairs, down the stairs, up the stairs, down the stairs, and then eventually they encounter the security guard and they beat the shit out of him. And they're like, yay, we cleared a new floor. <laughs> this poor guy. But he can't report it to the police, you know what I mean? Was that something you said about mementos back in B5? Yeah, I thought they were like in the train station, right? Because they're going lower and there's train tracks. They're like actually in a train station really high. Time to put all that video game and MGS practice to good use. That was what you were saying for mementos. Homeless people wouldn't have money to grind for. What if it's some poor homeless person that like spent two weeks begging up on the street, right? He comes down, he's finally got some money to buy food. You beat the shit out of him and steal it. It's pretty horrible. And the personas that are actually begging for their lives are just normal people. And there's Haru with a frickin' axe. I mean, what if the CIA was just secretly experimenting on students? I mean, they're orphans, who's gonna know? It's, you know what I mean? And they did it in the US a few times. Why couldn't they do it here? Who would know? All right. Enough about the uh, recreational material and the water supply. There's literally no one here. Yeah, gotta go to the bathroom. What exactly do you think you're doing? Stop screwing around. He wishes he was screwing around. There doesn't seem to be anyone in the faculty office. It might be a good time to enter. You know, I love that Kirijo was like, we're gonna enter the school? Like what, with a bomb? I'm like, Kirijo, I knew you were for France, but I didn't know you were from the French Legion. Jesus. I can barely read these. Man, you're just sitting there in the faculty and just hear bomb has been planted. What? <laughs> Kirijo's like, we gotta get out of here. What did you do? We gotta get out of here. What did you do? <laughs> it's not Tartarus, man. It's your school. She brought a bomb. What does it say on this one? Hmm. Gym, storage, morgue. Trying to scare me or something? You better watch out. What goes around comes around, buddy. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is the key to the gym. 
You know, when you say gym and key and school and night and locked in, I automatically think of Clannard. That was hilarious. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. I mean, why would they need a security guard? Why not just get motion sensors? They do a better job than security guards. Did you find the key? And you could just get a bunch of guard dogs. They'd be cheaper than security guards too. Or you could just get like any dog that's big and hungry for two days. The dog will attack just about anyone. Sure did. Hell, you can even get some wild animals and do the same thing. Just release them in your school at night when there's no one around. <laughs> just release some wild animals. Just release an alligator or something. It'd be like Resident Evil. <laughs> Guys, there's an alligator in the swimming pool. No, that's just Bob. They forgot to pick him up this morning. Don't forget, Kuma, this is set in 2009. I mean, alligators existed in 2009. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. <laughs> huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, Junpei just did that. Junpei just did that. Junpei out of all people just did that. What the hell just happened? Take this outside. <laughs> I actually feel like she might kick his ass. Guys, come on. Ah, oh, big brother Akiho stepping in. Akihiko, sorry, I can't I can't abbreviate the name. Alright, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Giggity. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. Oh. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Okay. Alright. I'd be glad to help. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatani. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. Uh-oh. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? I'll stay with Mitsuru. I don't care. Uh, no, no. it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Okay, here we go. This should be interesting. I... That's right. I... Okay, so she's not a coffin. I'm gonna be annoyed if she becomes a team member. Guess I'm alone after all. Wait. If we're in the school, and she's in the dorm, then technically no one's guarding her. So she's basically locked up in the dorm by herself, unattended, with none of the Persona users nearby, and the chairman's not even around. So she's basically just sitting there, defenseless. With nowhere to go. Locked in a room. I'm okay with this. Luca. Well, have fun with that. No. No, I don't want to hear this. Calling me. I... I have to go to school. Tell her I'm sorry. Someone's weaponizing the dark hour. Fuka. We still haven't heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I... 
really hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> well, we are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. I mean, I'm just gonna put it out there. I baked some really good brownies earlier this week. And they weren't exactly brownies, they were cupcakes. I got them just right. Except, I had one. And then, Hachun had like... Two thirds of one. And then she gave me one third. And so I had the one third on top of the one. And so I might be a little bit out of communication range right now. But I'm still good. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got separated. How'd you get separated? Your one job is to not get separated. You did the one thing you were not supposed to do, which is get separated. How did that even happen? And by separated, do you mean Junpei saw something and started chasing it down one of the corridors? Oh, god damn it. Not again. Akihiko. Come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. Tartarus shenanigans. What happened to you? I must have lost consciousness. I don't see Sonata or Jupang. Are you awake? Uh This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Yeah. My suspicion that you are a fallen angel, a watcher, a reaper, and I certainly hope not God has increased tenfold. Where are the others? Why are you here? I told you, remember? I'm always with you. I keep thinking you're either my guardian angel or a fallen watcher. Or possibly a reaper. That would fit the build for all three. Or a version of myself from many years ago. That would also fit. With my theory that everyone here is actually dead. Including myself. Because this place could be purgatory. Because we're on a secluded island owned by Kirijo's family. For some reason. With like some sort of research facility and or school built on it. For some reason. And then somehow this giant tower just comes out of the sky. I mean that's pretty sus right? But we don't have much time to talk. Tell me about it. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. What? You should hurry. She's waiting for you. So she's bait. You guys will need her. Need her for what? See you. I hope we meet again. What do you mean hope? You mean there's a chance we won't meet again? Oh god. You're saying more sus than mementos merging with the real world? I mean, that was pretty sus. Mitsuru, I'm gonna be honest with you. At this point, you should just join us. I'm sorry. Find Akiko and the others. Yay! This has turned into a rescue rescue mission. Not only are we here to rescue the original rescuee, but we're also here to rescue the rescuers. Communication has been lost. Investigate immediately. Entering alert status. Ah, okay. Okay, I can't destroy this thing, it's just a source of light. Uh, I should technically avoid combat whenever possible. Technically. Although, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Who's there? 
Nani. But someone else is. Ah, so that's still the normal number. Alright, where's my ice? You're my ice? I don't have heat to the hoe. I don't have heat to the hoe. Oh no. There's no heat to the hoe. You are literally my ice and you are like level 9. Not looking forward to this. Wait, why are you so weak? Level 2? That was a waste of SP. What do we have here? I like it. I like this too. But I like you. That's what I'm talking about. This persona cannot learn anymore. Rage boost, I don't like it. I like dodge ice. Dodge ice is good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is pick you to be my persona. And you've got good stuff. Fire, provoke, I don't like provoke. So we've got weak to one, fire to all, to one. So rage is useless. You are significantly more powerful than my other guy. So I am gonna use item light shadow. I have the ice one as well. Ice. Not your favorite move in the world. Cool. And then looking at my other personas. You've got dark, that's all right. I've got you for flavor. Cool. Rage isn't useless. Locks the enemy into only base physical attacks and makes them take more damage from my attacks. Amen. Who needs strategy, am I right? Wherefore art thou princess? Oh, she's probably the princess arcana. Maybe, maybe not. Sorry, can't hear you, breaking up. Nice work with that. Wait, did I block it? I miss you, Mr. Hee Ho. I really do. I miss you. I miss you. Wait, I could have just caught a Hee Ho right here without having to fuse him. That hurts. Are you human? Ah, that's up for debate. We don't actually know yet. It's over. I'm getting an awful lot of shuffle time. Wait a minute, I can exploit this. So because I'm by myself, I'm always getting shuffle time. I can exploit the crap out of this. Fuse Persona is almost always better in the long run. I mean, I know. Because they've got all my skills and they probably get more stats per level. Wait, so she's somewhere here. Where's she at? She's not here, huh? Okay. So she's not on this floor. I thought she was. My bad. 
so we can hear her despite her not being directly on this floor. Gotcha. If you're getting the shuffle time because you're alone or if it's because of the story stuff. Could be because I'm alone, they're worried about me actually dying. Where am I? Why am I here? Please answer me. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Mr. Heho. I, w I wish I had my Jack Frost just so I could use this to level him up like a crazy amount. Is someone there? I am. The voice is becoming clearer and louder. I mean, at this point, I'd be silly not to take the free money. All right. Oh my god, if only I had my Jack Frost with me. Nope. Yeah, 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 well, we're fine. Wait, how do I answer? Have a microphone? Please answer me. Everyone's just asking him to answer. Yeah, they're definitely worried we might die. So they're giving us free health. It's over. Items, oh my god. So do these floors not count or something? We just don't know which floor we're on. Why do I hear a roar? Breaking in the door, yeah, but imagine Jack Frost getting a level every single time. Oh, there you are. Was I the one that got lost? Man, we were worried about you. Sorry about the wait. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, kinda like. Who's there? Are you human? That sounds like she's right next to us. That's it! That's the voice! Wait, didn't that come from behind us? What? <sighs> you know, knowing anime, this is probably a trap. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes! I mean, it could be a trap. It could just be the structural, uh, the facial structure of a young boy. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome. Never fear, the heroes are here. Oh God, he's doing this from the beginning. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I. I just had an idea. What if every time we do a rescue mission, we have to use quotes from a movie <laughs> like say for example we have to only use terminator quotes <laughs> come with me if you want to live are you okay y yes i'll be fine sorry i'm just so relieved looks like i made the right call then i'll see if i can contact mitsuru what is this place one second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? 
No good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? You know, just permanent psychological trauma. So, there is something dangerous in here then. Hmm, hasn't encountered anything. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Clever. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Skill. Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru. Actually, she might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Here, unnamed child. Have a gun. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Yes. Now use it. On yourself. Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. It's actually quite pretty. I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Like werewolves? And crazy people? Although the same thing is true about humans. Really? That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. <laughs> if she hears you. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Hmm? Uh, is something wrong? Hey. Did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? It was full. Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? You know, there could be another thing that is affecting you, Kari's mood. And it might not be the moon, but it could align with the full moon. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Mitsuru? Yeah, uh, Mitsuru. that probably means there's a floor boss. Incoming. It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. That's not good. Damn it. What the hell's going on? I'm totally lost here. It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've gotta hurry. So it's basically like Evangelion, but with personas instead of angels. Wait, how the hell did we make it to the entrance that easily? There's two of them? What is this? Code Geos? Mitsuru! Takeba! <laughs> Damn you, 2009! If this was 2024, they would have soloed the two of these no problem. Why don't we why don't we start like insulting them? Maybe they get so depressed they just fall over. Hey! What the uh, Uka. 
Oh, right, those are your two friends. I'm still gonna defeat them in combat. No, what are you doing here? How'd you get in here? No, don't stop her. Let her turn into a shadow. Please get out of here. It's not safe. I I had to tell you. I'm sorry. You're only sorry because you're facing the consequences of your actions. That's not true remorse. That's feeling sorry for yourself. There's a difference. No, you don't. How do you know to do that? Persona. How do you know to say that? Well, that worked. And no one else thought to use their persona, huh? A persona? I can see. I I can see these monsters' weaknesses. That's good. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, better take your place. <laughs> Ouch. We'll handle these guys. Oh, I like this music. That's a copyright claim. I'll begin searching for the monster's weaknesses. Please give me some time. So what, I'm just supposed to hold out? No, I'm gonna see if I can figure out the weakness before you do. That's how we do this. Alright, what's something really uncommon at this part of the game? It is probably dark and blessing. First, we're gonna try this. Crap. What's next? I'll take care of this. Let's go. Dang! It's done. I can start the analysis at any time. Crap, you beat me to it. Please tell me when to activate it. Let me guess, it's probably dark. Press Thingo while on analysis screen to use Wuka's skill. Doing so will deplete her SP. Carrying out a full analysis to reveal the enemy's weakness. Use it to battle more effectively. Note that a full analysis can only be done after everyone, both allies and enemies, have ended their turn in the first round. Fair enough. So how do I do this? I want analyze and full analysis. I didn't know I had this kind of power. Why'd you close the screen so quickly? What was it? A slash or a pierce? Your ability is just what we hope for. It's even more. Is that pierce? That's pierce. Yukari, that's your attack! Why'd you suck? And Pikachu. Yukari, you should have shot it with a bow. Oh, I got a holy arrow. Not that. I'll go with And now I should be able to Pikachu. Wait, do you have a Pikachu? You do. 
One step at a time. Do it, Polly Newton. Damn, he went this way. Probably wouldn't take you out though. Keep skipping their turn like this. If we can keep skipping their turn, we'll be alright. You're not, we're not skipping their turn. Oh. They were changing their affinity. Ice, and that's a smash, I think. What's the plan? My up. Only I had a Jack Frost. I knew ice would come in handy. His basic attack is fist. That makes sense. He's wearing boxing gloves. But probably should let me figure that out. But it does say weak. Low. It did do massive damage, but it did damage. Is going off to him. Oh, sixty nine. Yay. Emperor and Empress tarot card. Cool. Looks like I'm getting even stronger. Are there more of them? Don't worry. It's over. For now. Luca, you are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Luca! And the adrenaline wore out. It's all right. She's just exhausted. Luca. Luca, I. Where did those two shadows come from? Those are her friends. Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. You're right, we should probably just leave her here. It doesn't matter. 
She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the dark hour. Huh? The good news is she didn't fall victim to the shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But she's not in a coffin. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, Buka. I'm so sorry. Mitsura's gonna kill her, isn't she? It looks like she's learned her lesson. Did she though? I'm not sure. We should probably leave her here. I'm sorry! <laughs> it wasn't easy, but we managed to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. The mysterious boy appeared again. His warning doesn't seem to be just the dream. Crap, he's been right like three times now. But I can't make any sense of it right now. I feel way too exhausted. I should get some rest as soon as I get back to the dorm. Well, that was a shorter than expected trip. Good morning. Morning. Yamagishi and Moriyama are recovering nicely. They'll get released from the hospital in the next few days. That's good to hear. What will happen now? Precisely. We'll need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. Considering that power of hers, we could definitely use her help. So basically, it's story time now. Class has ended. Wait, so I still just have free time? We're not gonna... Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> Sorry, I got into story mode, and so my brain's like, yeah, story, story, story. And now they're like, no, you got free time, you can spend it with people. And I'm like, uh, I gotta go from this story mode to social links, okay? Alright. Do I have all the personas that I need to do things? Hero, justice, all that good stuff. I've got a hermit, I've got emperors. I've got two emperors. See, this is, and I've got a magician, which is jack o lantern which replaces my heat to the hoe. Um, but I've got two emperors, so I can at some point combine the emperor with something else that I no longer need in order to create something that I do need. Let's worry about that later. Alright, alright. But let's first make sure we actually use the time we have to actually do things. Otherwise, we just lose the time slot. You will need strength for Yuko if you want to link again. See? That's what I was missing. I must have created... God damn it. Yeah, I gotta get rid of the number of bloody people that I'm talking to at the same time. This is getting way out of hand. Pray at the shrine. Yip yip. Magical. Heal support. I'm gonna use these at some point. See you later. Alright. Shimi, hello. Are you available to meet me today? I will come get you for the club. Let's run. My god, man. We are popular. Wait, I went to Tartarus last night. I better be able to get free drugs. We don't need magician anymore. Have you seen how powerful our magician is? Yes! Yes! Six to the nine. What a day. Six to the nine. Okay, then. Six to the nine. Don't forget pressing square on the full map shows you all the links available. Do they? Square on the map? Oh, right. So if I got a town map. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Yeah, I remember this from, like, the first thing. Are we actually doing with our social links? 
So we've got Max, we've got seven. We've got eight. Well, she's gonna be Max soon. Team manager's already on four. Jesus, I've been a busy boy. Who the heck is that? When I think of home economics, I think about cooking experiments and what kind of thing. I hear someone set their textbook on fire. I swear I heard that yesterday. I don't know why her thing was on white. I mean, it's gonna end up being a Tartara session soon anyway. Uh. Seems like Yamagishi is still asleep. I can't help but worry about her. So I guess we just have to wait for her to wake up. And then we'll go to Tartarus with her as part of the team. Let's not make this any more difficult than it needs to be. Alright, you get some love. Grandma, oh. how have things been? Actually, I'd like to ask you for a favor if you have time today. Feels like I can get closer thanks to my justice persona. I feel like I might grow closer soon. Should I spend time? Yes. Thank you Guys, so give much. me the cheats for the brownie points. Um, this is kind of embarrassing, but will you help me with my homework? I seem to recall another student mistaking this for something that it was not. It's math to be specific. Let's talk about it more at the library. Oh my god, she's drawing us into the library. A treasurer who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? You know what's weird? Hachan is not good at math either. I never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, I was just thinking of the American elections. Oh, uh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. Oh! I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. Shut up, you're distracting us. What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? <laughs> Just give me a kiss, please. Oh, God. <sighs> All right. Fine. Oh, my God. They're really going to kiss? Bloody library geeks. Do they not know where they are? I'm pretty sure they know exactly where they are. And they have no shame. They're going to kiss. Where did they go? Alright, I need brownie points, and the fact that there's deleted comments in the chat makes me worried. No shame. Oh my god, what are you, a nun? They have no shame. That's right. I agree. Yes! Oh god, she's a nun. This is supposed to be a place of learning, and they're still just kids. Yeah, and the only things that they should be putting in their bodies is knowledge, not penis. So I say this as a member of the student council. Uh-huh. That kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school. Where have we heard this before? I don't know, this seems all familiar. Brunette, fun-sized girl, member of student council that wants to stop school children from doing things with each other. We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. Uh-huh, in graphic detail. I agree. That's kind of extreme. You don't like kissing? I kind of think the I agree is brownie points, but like at the same time. What the hell? I agree! If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear! Oh, God. <gasps> I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. She's gonna start this whole thing. Uh, like, she's gonna start this whole school campaign against students kissing. Oh my god. And it's six slash nine. This is, this is not what I was expecting. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized too. It's always the repressed ones that are the crazy ones. I feel like our relationship has grown. Oh, I didn't notice the time. Um, I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. And he just left. I parted ways with Chihiro, then headed back to the dorm. Yujo Senpai and Sanada Senpai went to the hospital to pay Yamagishi a visit. I wonder if she's alright. I mean, we could have also paid her a visit. But yes, it's uh, Ino from Kaguya Summer Love is War. Alright. What do we have here? Urgently seeking workers. I'm rich now! With my 23,000. Hey, so... I bet Kirijo and Sanada Senpai are trying to convince Yamagishi to join our team. That worries me. Yeah. Kirija Senpai and Sanada san are both at the hospital checking up to on Yamagishi. That means no Tartara tonight. Guess we gotta find something random the two to kill time. I don't know, maybe we can cook? I think it's on the 16th we're gonna clean it. 16th. See, I will remember an arbitrary date of absolutely no consequence, but I will not remember a character's name. This is my brain, ladies and gentlemen, this is my brain. This is my frickin' brain. I don't wanna give this man money. But... Could be a good idea. But then at the same time, I don't know how long it's gonna take before we can go to Tartarus. So maybe I should just take it easy with the little bits of money that I have and... For now, just bide my time and wait before I get scammed by this asshole. Although, you are only available here at night and I should probably make progress. But then at the same time, I don't even have a lot of junk that I can sell for money. So I should be able to come back. You know how I remember the names of Danganronpa? You wrote them down. I think. I simply replayed their introductions in my head. I don't remember the introductions of these characters at all. I can replace significant memories, but not everything. Voice I mean. Courage and agility. More courage. Let's get these stats. Alright, the plot thickens. Is she gonna join us yet? Come on, I want some Tartarus time. Tartarus. Hey, so... Tartarus makes me want fish and chips. Tartarus. See, I don't know how you spell Tartarus, but I can just say it. Tartarus. Hey, I was thinking. Do you think Kirijo Senpai saved Yamagishi son because it was the right thing to do? Or was it just because she's a Persona user and we need her? You're overthinking it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Either way, I guess it's really up to Yamagishi some whether or not she joins us. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. Kiri Joe's not that calculating. If she was, she'd become me. Our next topic. Uh we are up to the Kamakura era. Are we up to the Kamakura era yet? I guess not. Oh man. We haven't even reached the Nara era. Well let's just power through it real quick. First, the Taika reforms. They happen in the year 645. Just remember that and we can move on. What? What are... Oh, what were they about? Oh, nothing major, really. 
later in 1710 there was the Heijo Q. Okay, that wraps up the Nara era. What the literal hell? I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes? Yes, I'm not. I can feel the teacher's gaze. I go to sleep because this guy annoying. Wait, I'm fearless. Does that mean I maxed it out? Is level 5 the max? Is level 5 the max? Because if so, I just wasted a whole night. I think it was 6. But he's fearless. What's more brave than fearless? We told you it was 6. Yes, I know. But if he's already fearless, what is there beyond that? Besides shameless. Because shameless is beyond fearless. Badass is the sixth courage. Giga Chad? <laughs> I like that. Well, I've checked out all the new first year girls. They're all pretty cute, but the glasses girl in the student council is especially cute, don't you think? I will stab you. Dear Kuma, no practice today. Work related. What is it with the harem? Girls, man. The girls be crazy. Uh, heal and support. No, I need the other one. Magic? It's not this one. Did I copy all the heal and support cards? Oh, then I'll copy this one. Harum or Harum? Don't you mean haram? You're trying to say haram, right? Not harum. Haram. You gotta say the You gotta do the Haram. It's haram. You get me? Haram. Okay, I haven't spent any time with the little girl, but like, I will eventually. I made friends. I'm looking for How may I assist you? Request. Are you accepting a request? No. Ask you out? A shame. You're busy. Ouch. Very well. I believe if you talk to her now, you get info on a new social link as well. I get the info on the what now? Kuma, how are you reading Welcome inflection from room. text? What do you mean, inflection? Fuse persona. Registration. I see. Register all of the things. All yes, all register. I he to the hoe. Will you choose? And so, I've got hermit, which I need. I've got emperor. Emperor and lovers creates a Mithras. So I basically needed a Mithras that was level like 37, right? So, Seeing what personas come to be is a great joy of mine. So if I just keep Oberon and Tamlin in for a while, I'll get Chariot with a boost. Narcissus. Okay. I can also create a new strength persona, but I don't want to. So let's get rid of an Emperor. Take all the time you need to consider. This power might be too much for you. Yeah, I might get screwed on that one. So what I might kind of persona. Do you desire? I won't get any money back for releasing this. But like, I'm not really low on money, so it should be okay. Which will what kind of persona 
Do you? This is your progress so far. I should be okay. I'll make money when I get back. So, magician, principality, lovers, temperance. I don't actually need the lovers at the moment. Does that persona catch I don't actually have a lovers persona at the moment. Please choose the persona. Diffuse emperor and the lover. Like I get a new chariot. Is this acceptable? I mean, it can be. It creates a new slot, and it gets rid of something that I'm not using. So, yeah, I guess. This persona, yes. Crit rate, that could work. Please choose what skills to inherit. Sure, let's just create something. Um, spirit drain, because why not? Growth, because why not? This I can get via card. Weak damage. Allies attack. Allies evasion. I mean, these come in handy. I'll have Yukari around. Slash is our attack, I believe. And Sonic Punch is kind of the tricky one, but he's already got Bash, so it's fine. So I'll just do the support ones. Decrease the foe's attack. And increase our it attack. Appears it will receive a fairer... <laughs> a new power emerges. He's gonna get a boost and a half. Cool, I shall watch as your noble soul grows. He's a chariot, so he gets a boost. Order. Temporarily increase user's attack at the start of battle. So if I have you as my opener, you're just gonna give me an increase in attack by default. That's actually very handy. And crit increases crit. Wow, this guy would hit like a freaking truck. Okay. And assault drive is medium to one foe. Okay. Cool. And now I'm going to summon strength. So far. Cool. Okay, I've got actually a few hard hitters now. I should be alright. Strength is Valkyrie. This persona, yes. We just started seeing Valkyries in Tartarus, and now they stopped appearing. So you'll be summoning this one? Very well, it's yours. I sincerely hope we get a new Tartar recession soon, because I'm getting poor. We look All right, what else do you have? About requests, talk. Of course. If you have any business-related personas, Valve Room, however you may speak to me about my personal request here. Did you need anything else? That's about it, I think. Very well. Cool. Alright, worth saving the game. I've done the card duplication. I've done everything else. Alright, fine. Let's spend time together. I think we can grow closer. I don't think our bond will grow any stronger even if I spend more time. Oof. Ouch. Ouch, bro. Ouch, that hurt. That hurt me. Alright, what else do I have? Chariot, Hiero, Justice, Emperor, Hermit, Chariot, Strength. So I need to basically boost my stats with her without spending time with her, because time slot's important. Um, I guess I'll spend time with the other kid. You can summon any persona if you at least obtain them once. I mean, yeah. Oh no, he doesn't want to spend time with me. Crap. So, we've got Bebe and we've got Emperor. I'm good. Chubby student, I'm good for now. Maiko, I could unlock her. Bunkichi and Mitsuko. Yeah, so if I have time that's spare, I could probably just spend it on boosting stats with people that I actually need to boost stats with. So what's my social link? Seven with the old couple. You know what? I'm going to focus fire the old couple. Or unlock the girl. I'll unlock the girl. Why not? Who doesn't need an Arcana boost? What, she's gonna be lovers or something. And then I'm gonna call the police. What am I, the President of the United States? <laughs> you came. I was waiting for you, let's play. 
play. Come on! You're more physically active than this. And this child is how you bury people. I spent time with Maiko. Hey, hey, what do you want to do next? I don't know, take down capitalism. It's your turn, okay? You get to pick. Seesaw, jungle gym, monkey bars. I want to go home. Oh my god, could you not be cruel to the little kid? You prick. Let's go seesaw, because it's the one thing you can't do by yourself. Aww, I hate the seesaw. It makes my butt hurt. I was being considerate, you little shit! It looks like you'll be getting dark soon. I don't wanna go home. I don't like it there. What's wrong at home? Can we stay here a little longer? Are mommy and daddy fighting? After playing together, she seems to have taken a liking to me. I've become acquainted with Meiko, the grade schooler. I can hear the police sirens! Oh, she's the hanged one. I the hanged that one?! That That's dark. That's pretty dark, considering she's a child. What's wrong at home? You know, my mom and dad... Hmm? All they ever do is fight. And... Just the other day... Hmm? They said they were getting a divorce. Aww. I told them not to, but... They won't listen. Look on the bright side. They'll both be fighting for your love. You can get twice the presents. They probably don't care about me. Hey, you'll play with me again later, right? I'm here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. <laughs> you have to come see me, okay? The great schooler has a schedule. The great schooler has a schedule. She's more organized than I am. <laughs> She's a great school with the schedule. <laughs> the box on the counter. I bought stuff on TV again. The great schooler has a schedule. Kirja Senpai and Sonata san are both visiting Yamagishi today. So that leaves us on standby at the dorm. I wonder if she'll come home soon. Fuka chan. Hey, listen. She hasn't agreed to join though, right? I hope she's not pressured by them or anything. Well, they did kind of save her life. Like, no pressure. You do owe us. Oh. Yeah. Hey, so... I hope Kirijo and Sonata aren't pressuring her to join us if she doesn't want to. Sometimes it feels like they'd do anything to achieve our goal, you know? Hell yeah. Finally, a new addition to this dorm. Oh man, I'm so stoked. Maybe I should clean my room. You're gonna clean your room? That's something. Games, games, games. Uh, what about my tomatoes? I would redo that one since the best option was Jungle Gym. But you could be okay. Uh, we'll see. I think she will rank up normally, given that it's the first one. And plus, you don't even know what her thing is. This guy's on something. Eh, I could play it safe. I did save just before. This is the mall. This is the after school thing. I saved, right? I got the Valkyrie. Alright, little girl. We get a redo time, because why not? Alright, let's not make the butt hurt. Jungle Gym was good. Oh yay! I love 
coming on top of stuff. Looks like I'll be getting dark soon. There's no brownie points. There's absolutely no brownie points here. I didn't get any brownie points. Damn. But I had to get that some stuff. Welcome back. Hey, listen. So how could the best option be jungle gym? Hey. If there's no points. Yeah. Who wrote that guide? Games, games, games. Wait, right, let's see what this actually does. We can order takeaway now, right? It's not going to use the time slot, is it? Welcome. Say member, member only dishes, check them out. Website said only members can order takeout. That is a very interesting business model. Uh, increases all stats for three turns, increases defense for three turns. Wow, that was a waste of a night. Yay. Okay, in that case, I might as well get my stats up. Alright, more game arcade. Academics, yeah! Let's become smarter by playing the same game over and over again. Doesn't Elizabeth need a beef ball from that place? Ah, oh, crap, you're right! It's a message from Sonata. Yamagishi is being released from the hospital today. We all need to talk to her together. Come to the command room once you get back to the dorm. No pressure. We're gonna pressure the poor girl. We're gonna emotionally blackmail the poor girl and tell her that she could stop the thing that happened to her from happening to other people if she joins us. Because who would not want to put pressure on a poor girl that underwent a traumatic experience and was getting bullied up until that point. I'm not a horrible person. You're a horrible person. Nari Shrine. Yip, yip. Heal support. Rebellion, crit rate for one ally. Negate fire resistance. So does this like take away fire resistance and makes it normal? This feels like it will come in handy at some point. I kind of feel like I might not have gotten all the um, vending machines. I heard that some shit went down here. Our guys against gecko morons. That wasn't you, was it? Nah, you don't look like you could piss those guys off that bad. But man, why do some gecko candy asses come here? Students should stay at home and do their homework or whatever. What do you think, Mr. Whiskers? Meow. I wish I could feed the cat. Really do. I don't think this vending machine has anything. No, it doesn't. I think this other vending machine has stuff. Yeah. No, I bought this one. Okay. Um, Kenji's done. Kazushi is done. Right, so I can level up Kazushi. Chihiro can't level up yet. Damn it, Chihiro, I thought you liked me. What the hell? Uh, Bunkichi can get leveled up, and the shrine can be used to boost how much someone likes me if I offer money. Remember the baseball. True, but that's only at night, isn't it? Alright, well, I've got the chariot. I might as well. Might as well boost stats. They'll come in handy anyway. And I'm gonna have to boost time by spending time with people or giving the correct answers or something. Oh, thank 
goodness. Yeah, Magician's son is leaving the hospital soon. Isn't that great? Hey. You're going to practice today. Sorry, Matt. Just go on without me. What? He's acting strangely. I feel like we can glow, grow closer together. I feel like I might grow closer to him soon. Should I spend time with him after the track team? Yes. I'm going to head over too. Just give me a sec. Help me out with the brownie points, guys. I don't see Miyamoto. Well, we're out of here. Take it easy. Good hustle out there. You'd better wrap up too. See you next practice. This is like indirectly spending extra time with one of my social links. Made it back to the dorm after practice. What happened, man? Whoa! What's up? I was just gonna sneak back into practice. Really? Where have you been? Did you ditch? Guys, brandy points! I was gonna ask, did you ditch? But I don't know. He likes the harden up attitude, but I don't think it's actually healthy for him. Whereas, where have you been would be more like, I am concerned for your safety sort of thing. No one's got anything for me? Alright. I'll try Did You Ditch. First one? Alright, let's try it. My mom's been on my case. She took me to the hospital. She insisted after I told her about my knee. Yeah, that's a good parent right there. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. How did it go? That really sucks. You said it. I don't get why my mom and the rest of the team are acting like this. It's exhausting having everyone up in your business. Today they took some x-rays. They'll give me the results in a few days. Not sure why that has to take so long. Oh hey, don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, right? I'm counting on you. I feel bad for always asking you to keep things quiet. Sorry about that. Miyamoto seems to be appreciative of me. Feel like we're becoming closer. So did I did I miss brownie points in the first option? All right. The doctor told me to take it easy today, but you should still get to practice. Oh, wait. If you're leaving. That means practice is already over. Neither gave points. All right, we're all good. Well, guess I'll just go home. See ya. We got another Ryuji situation happening here. Man, there's so many similarities between P5 and P3. So you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? He's part of the track team. Ryuji's part of the track team. Mitsuru's basically Saya 2.0, or 1.0 to be honest. She's basically Saya. But anyway. Y yes. Yeah, Alright, let's continue with the emotional blackmail. <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. <laughs> Take a seat. Just have a seat. There's only like literally six people here surrounding you. And a giant computer. Okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job on covering the truth. Ah, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. Damn it! That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. Old ghost story? I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. 
You were literally trapped in another place. That is not your fault at all. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? No. Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho Senpai. Only if you want to. We won't force you. Yeah. 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 Only if you want to. I think you'd make a good addition to the team too. Sonata Senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it. I mean, no pressure, but you do get a gun. I'll do it. She liked the sound of that one. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? She must really love guns. If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. <laughs> That's like next level. Well, if you join, you also have to have to live here. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Jesus Christ, is everyone from a broken household? Or a household where the parents are dead? My god, this story is getting miserable. Can we have like one parent that's good? Oh wait, the chariot kid's mum is good. She took him to the doctor. That's good. <laughs> from back when Akihiko gave Fuka the evoker. Here little girl, you are now an honorary slub. Here is your complimentary gun. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Akihiko and Mitsuru have the biggest mum-dad vibes ever. They're like sitting on the couch with their arms crossed, looking at the girl. It's almost like she's in trouble. And Junpei, Yukari, and the MC are just sitting on the other side, almost like they're, you know, in trouble. Like, the two parents are sitting on the comfy chow on the couch, while like the three kids in trouble are sitting on those little blocks. It's, it's pretty funny. It's, yeah, the vibe is just out there. Okay, thank you. Wait a minute, aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay, really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? You got a whole month, you'll be fine. Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. We figured out the pattern for when special shadows appear. Is this what the mysterious boy was trying to tell me? I should start paying attention to the moon's phases. Can I go to Tartarus now? Hmm. Tartarus. Dude, she's the exact opposite of Yucatan. Smart, kind, modest. Hey Kuma, what'd you think of her? Not bad. I don't really care. That all you think about? Not bad. Right? Finally a nice change of pace. Kirijo and Sanada-kun left to war. Yamagishi-kun home. It's late after all. Still, today was a good day for us. We've gained new power and learned more about shadows. We're entering the next phase of our battle. And we can't just sit on our hands either. I'd, I'd say we could use a new trick up our sleeve. I know she technically made the decision on her own, but... It didn't seem like Yamagishi's son was really given much of a choice to me. Sigh, I don't like this. I keep telling you, Akihiku and Mitsuru got that mum-dad thing down pat. You have a choice, but you don't really have a choice. 
Like, you have choice, but like, you don't really have choice. Shy yet adorable middle sister. Jesus! We're running a fucking orphanage! We're just freaking adopting everyone! No wonder we have so many rooms in this place. Everyone's bloody getting adopted. Akiko is more like a big brother. Yeah, but when they were sitting on the couch, they just had that vibe for a moment. They were mirroring each other's body posture. Game Arcade. 1337. Ha! Nice. Nice. Yes, we're understanding women through play playing dating simulators. So Mitsuru's mom, Akihiko, big bro, Yukari, big sis. I don't... Yeah, Yukari could be big sis. I don't know, she could be the like, same age sort of thing. MC's forgotten middle child, Junpei's annoying little bro, and Fuku's adorable middle child. Yukari is big sis. She could be. Good morning. What do you think of Yamagishi-san? She's cute. She's very helpful. I'm gonna piss you off. She's cute. That's not what I meant. It's just... Feels like she wasn't really given a choice in joining the team. I hope she'll be okay. Let's bake her a cake. Made out of vodka. A slub cake. Hey, did you hear? Hear what? Apparently, Mr. Okoda's in hot water. What, for being an incompetent idiot and almost getting a student killed? Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? No, that's Persona 5. This is Persona 3. <laughs> I can totally see that. Ooh. Wait, why are you laughing? That's not funny. Um, good morning. That shit's not funny. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Leave Rei and Ami alone. Quiet, she can hear you. Oh, Fuka, you're here. Nani? Moriyama-san? If you're mean to our little girl, I'm gonna throw you down the stairs. You started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Man, what were they thinking with the hair colors? Different hair color symbolizes different personality types in Japanese anime and media. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. Why, you trying to be friendly now? You could probably use a friend. You don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. Natsuki? 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 I thought it was Natsuki. Natsuki. Not Natsuki. I thought it was Natsuki. Thank you. Guilt and nightmare do that to someone. Fair enough. We can make people better by traumatizing them. Alright. Can I go to Tartarus now? Work related. When is it not work related? Student council the same comes to student council. Shut up! It's Miyamoto! Are you heading to practice? Kuma Dono. Echo da was. Fuka's homeroom teacher, right? I saw him just now, and man, he looked like his world was gonna end. Is this what Kirijo senpai meant? Did she tell him I'll make sure to deal with you later? I mean, he had it coming. He was an incompetent idiot that almost got someone killed. I mean, he's got it coming. He would just probably get him extradited to Guantanamo Bay or something. She seems like the type. Or she's gonna get him sent to a cobalt mine in Africa. 
where the kids are mining cobalt for those electric cars. Alright, fine. I feel like I can grow closer. You can't leave unless they find a replacement. Lol. Hey there. Hey, wanna head to practice? If we are, just go without me. I'll catch up with you later. Let's do it. Hmm. Let everyone know that too, would you? I'm not skipping or anything. Wait, what? See you in a bit. Last one! Go for it! At least they've got good form. I didn't see Miyamoto today either. I made my way back to the dorm after practice. Oh god damn it. Whoa! Man, I keep running into you at the weirdest times. Back from the hospital? Did you ditch? Oh my god! Can I stop being a prick? Every single time! Did you ditch? Did you ditch? You being a bitch? I'm like, dude! You- This is not nice. Not nice. Back from the hospital? You remembered what we talked about last time. Nothing gets past you, eh? Trust me, I know what it's like to have a knee injury. So, yeah, I just got back from the hospital. Mm -hmm. They had the results from my last exam. And well, I... Ah! You gotta be kidding! Why can't I stand up? Oh, don't do it, your knee's really weak. Take my shoulder. I'll carry you. I'll go get help. I'm gonna be like, I'll carry you. One? Shoulder? Okay. Thanks. That's really, really bad. Funny, huh? All from just crouching down to tie my shoes. The thing you were around. If it were anyone else, the rest of the team would have found out. Thanks, man. Really grateful to have you as a friend. This is like really cruel. He's in freaking high school. And he's got a knee injury. I mean, I got a knee injury from actual combat. He got it from running. That sucks. Alright. I'm gonna go train by myself. Dude, I I what did the doctor say? Even if practice is over. Can't skip out on training. Big meat's not that far off. You do realize you're just making this worse, right? You're heading home, right? Then we'll train together next time. Oh, you stupid. easy. No wonder it's getting worse. I parted ways with Miyamoto and went back to the dorm. This idiot! Why are all the guys idiots? Welcome back! Damn you, testosterone! Oh yeah, I hear Fuka's moving into one of the rooms on the third floor. But the girls put their foot down when I offered to help. Said us guys aren't allowed. Anyway, looks like she'll be coming here pretty early. Exciting stuff, huh? What, the guys aren't allowed to help her move in? What the hell? Or is it just no Junpei's allowed? I guess I can kill time? The girls said no guys allowed. But what if they need more carrying the heavier stuff? Well, I guess they'll call for us if they really need help. What is it? If you're looking for Mitsuru and Takeba, they're on the third floor. It sounds like they're getting Yamagishi's room ready, so I doubt it would be of much use. Unless, like, they find a cockroach or something. I like how it's universal. Girls hate cockroaches. Did I get everything here? The room must be covered in dust since no one's used it before. Please don't let there be any cockroaches. Especially not the big German cockroaches. I'm sorry. I apologize for not being able to go to Tartarus multiple days in a row. Preparing for Yamagishi's move has taken longer than anticipated. In any case, this floor is reserved for the girls' rooms. Males are not permitted. 
please return downstairs. Mitsuru, I don't want to be that guy, but I'd just like to point out that you're inconveniencing the girls by forcing them to climb up to the third floor just to assert dominance. Because you want girls to be on top. I'm just saying I'm going to walk downstairs now. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. I don't know if you realize or if it was subconscious, but I'm just putting it out there. Do Slavic roaches have tiny guns? Tiny? No, multiple cockroaches work together. There needs to be an elevator. How rich do you think this school is? Alright, let's get that beef ball. Totally forgot about the beef ball. I mean, Mitsuru is rich. Yeah, she could just build another building. Why not? She practically owns the island. A private school on a man-man island. Yeah, I figure they're pretty rich. This is basically Dubai. Or Purgatory. It's one of the two. We're either in Dubai or Purgatory. There's no middle ground. Does anyone remember what I need? I think it's a beef bowl. I need to buy a beef bowl for some velvet room attendee. Regular beef bowl. I ain't giving you money. I don't have enough money. I need to go to Tartarus. More Twilight fragments. At this point, you're just giving them for free. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. There you go. So this is the famous Umu. Sorry, Umi. Blah. Umi Ushi beef bowl. Very well then. Bon appetit. My, how delicious. Something this delicable must have cost a fortune. Oh my. It didn't? Then I must applaud this corporation's efforts to sell such quality food for cheap. Please take this as your reward. Male uniforms. Yay! Now we can dress up both the boys and the girls. And Junpei is the only one that gets a top hat. Very well. Wait, Good you must day. have another one, right? Are you accepting a request? That's it? So, 26. So I need to get myself to 26, and then I can get this to 26. 450 shadows and 150. I reckon we'll do these in the next trip. And there's nothing else at the moment. Alright. Very well. Let's go play some video games. Where did the lyrics come from? I'm actually hearing the lyrics for the first time now. Were they always in the background? No, like, I noticed there were lyrics, but I never actually listened to the words. It just sounded like, you know, I never actually listened to the words. It was just background noise, but now I just heard the lyrics. The F are these lyrics. These lyrics suck. God, now I'm being tortured. Puma, maybe you should see a doctor. No, it's just that I don't pay attention to things. And then all of a sudden my mind was like, okay, I'm listening to the lyrics now. And I'm like, ah, the shit. Maybe that's why my mind was just zoning them out. Because I probably didn't like them. When I like something, I typically hear it. When I don't like it, I typically zone out. So probably my mind was actually hearing it and it was filtering it out. Let's hear you write a song then. I once did, but it was labeled extremist Slavic propaganda. And was banned on three social media websites. And I was probably put on several watch lists. This 
song is too happy. I don't like it. Pretty sure you're probably mishearing the lyrics. We can show you the lyric video later. Kimba would be the only streamer to hate this banger of a song. <laughs> I don't like the lyrics. It was background music for me. I'm just not into the lyrics. He's like, I got your back, you got my back. And I'm like, what the fuck? What is this shit? Get me the hell out of this. Ah! Get this music out of my ears! Ah, I'm being tortured now! Stop it! Oh, thank God, save me from this. Oh, God, not this shit again. You've prevailed yet again. What do you want? Do you remember what I said before? Something, something, you hope to see me again? About everything coming to an end? Uh, you might have mentioned something like that once or twice. You've said a lot of things. Well, I recalled something else. What do you mean by recalled? I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But if you recall that, that means you've already seen it. But it's kind of weird. Mm hmm? It doesn't feel that inevitable right now, considering the vast potential inside you. Mm hmm? Plus, it seems like your powers changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? Uh. I'm usually very skeptical about my paralysis demons becoming my friends, but I know better than to not be friendly to the thing that keeps waking me up at night. Because the last time I was unfriendly, that ended very horribly. So, sure, let's be friends. Little unknown boy that keeps waking me up in the middle of the dark hour. I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Uh, I am absolutely terrified right now. But I will comply with your request. Fine by me. Sure, what's your name? Name? Yeah, name by which you are known. Oh, I see. I need a name. Oh, God. My name is. Pharos. Pharos? Okay, Greek, Pharos, Greek mythology. Uh. Pharos. Pharos, 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 Pharos. Crap. I went to a Greek Orthodox college and I forgot what Pharos is. I know we'll get along great. That's what makes me worried. I feel the beginnings of a bond with the mysterious boy Pharos. Really? Everyone's a freaking social link at this point! Oh god, he's the Death Arcana! It's a Reaper! It's a Reaper! It's a fucking Reaper! I'm talking to a Reaper! Oh god! Oh god! I'm talking to a Reaper! Ah, oh, shit! Quick, everyone, act busy! Ah, oh, crap, it is a Reaper! Yeah, it's a Reaper! Yep, this kid's a Reaper! This kid's a Reaper, I'm telling you now, this kid's a Reaper! Death is always watching you sleep! Death is also watching me use my laptop as a teenage boy. Well, it's getting late, so I'm going now. Oh God! I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Ah! Bye bye. Ah! Your notes are as perfect as ever. They're easier to understand than the textbook itself. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Not this shit again! Not this again! No! 
Why? Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Sire 2.0? Why? Why? Why am I getting rejected? Why? <laughs>